Hi everyone, this is Sunera from Itsy Bitsy and I'm here to show you how I made these really adorable uh, baby shower party favors for a friend's baby shower. Um, each party favor is shaped like a shoe, a baby shoe, and it's filled with pretty pearls and flowers and ribbon, making it really quite delectable. And the icing on the cake, of course, are the chocolates that I stuffed inside the um, shoe, all made using some fabulous supplies at Itsy Bitsy. So let's get started. Now, the template for the um, baby shoe project, you will find it on our blog. Um, cut it out um, by hand or um, however else you can. And the first thing I would suggest that you do is thread the uh, ribbon. Uh, once the shoe is made, you have to remember it's made out of paper, so it's a little bit more difficult to lace the shoe once it's ready because you'll find yourself bending and creasing the paper when you would rather not do that. So um, my experience is that you lace the shoe um, before you start off on any of the gluing. That would make sure that your shoe is quite flawless once it's ready. Then you fold back all the little flaps that you have now cut out to, which is going to be used to glue um, the top of the shoe to the base portion. Now you can either use a glue gun, but in my case I hadn't plugged it in, so instead I'm going to use um, some double-sided tape. Um, Itsy Bitsy has some really good quality double-sided tape. It's my favorite adhesive. I usually use it on all my projects, that or the glue gun. So um, I'm I'm putting a little sticker on each flap and then peeling off the back portion. I'm, I'm putting the sticker on the flap such that I can glue uh, the flap to the underside of the shoe. I'm gluing it over the underside of the shoe so it bends over the under underside of the shoe and the glue keeps it in place. Um, there's a lot of flaps to glue down so I'm um, essentially just adding the little uh, pieces of double-sided tape, trimming them where they are exceeding the length of the flap and continuing to add them to the remaining flaps. The shoe really takes shape as you uh, glue down each flap. So um, all you got to do is um, start gluing it down. Um, for all the remaining shoes that I made, I used a glue gun. I found that it was quicker and less tedious. So you might want to do the same. So I'm now ready to start gluing each of the flaps in place. Um, as you glue the flaps, you will form the shape of the shoe. So just follow the guideline on the base of the shoe. Oh, I realized I've not glued one flap. I'm not added glue to one flap. Okay, that's pretty much done now. Um, so as I was saying, as you uh, glue each flap down, that's how you form the shape of the shoe. That's how you get that really sweet curved effect. It's really quite adorable. And it's really easy to do. Just follow the guideline of the sole of the shoe and ensure that each of the flaps are folded down as closely to the edge of the sole as you can. Now when you reach the edge, um, I wanted the front side to go over the back side, so I'm lifting up that a bit. Then um, to keep the join glued together, I'm going to use uh, my glue gun, which hopefully by now is nice and hot, to glue that edge together. Yeah, it is nice and hot, so I'm gluing a line at the edge. And then I'm um, just joining the two ends. Now I, I, I need to, I don't like how the underneath of the shoe is looking. Neither do I like this join that I just glued in place. I'm going to deal with that later. But for now, to hide the ugliness at the sole of the, underneath the shoe, I'm going to glue the remaining part of the template, which is just a cut out of the sole. I'm going to just glue that on top of all this mess that has just been created. Once again, the glue gun will do nicely for this product, for this, um, for gluing the second sole under the shoe. Um, just liberally add the glue around the edge. And once uh, you're happy with that, place the second sole on top and press it down using your fingers. 
There the shoe is looking as sweet as can be. Now I'm going to take a minute to tie the ribbon, tie the bow. Um, I want it to be nice and you know I don't want the I want I want the ribbons to be kind of loosely tied together. I don't want it to be too tight, but you can really go with whatever style suits you suits your aesthetic. Now um, I mentioned that I didn't like the join and so to cover that up I'm going to use my magnetic twist trimmer. Uh, the magnetic twist trimmer comes like this with a scale and um, eight blades. Um, I'm using the scallop edge blade. Um, it fits on the side of the ruler and when you're ready to cut just twist it and run it down the ruler. Once again I need another strip. So I'm going to run it on top, twist it and run it down the ruler. When you twist it, the blade pops out. When it is not twisted, the blade goes back in. Um, it's also got a handy little lock system so that when you're done with your project, you can slip all the blades inside. There are different uh, edges, different finishes. You can have um, scallop or wavy or crimping or stamping or scoring, perforating and straight edge. I, I, I've kind of misplaced one of my blades, that's why there are only seven on the ruler. Now the join that I was mentioning earlier, <clears throat> I didn't like how that looked and I wanted to conceal it. So I'm going to conceal it using this strip that I've just cut with my magnetic twist trimmer. Um, with my glue gun, I'm just going to glue it in place and then when I'm happy with how it's covering the shoe, I'm going to trim it. And for the sake of symmetry, I'm going to do the same on the other side. It kind of looks like how canvas shoes have that little, um, little join um, for the heel. That's really the look I'm going for. And it's a nice complementary color from the same paper pack as the body of the shoe. Now the final touch to make the shoe look really pretty is to add a... <clears throat> a rim of pearls around the bottom edge and the top edge. Um, what happens when you, you can't really see clearly but actually it doesn't look as neat as you might like. So when you add the rim of pearls it completes it. It makes it look really neat and it also adds such a pretty girly finish. I mean I, I really can't get enough of pearls and although these pearls are adhesive I'm still adding a layer of glue to keep them in place because this is after all a party favor it's going to go home with the guests and the last thing i want is for the pearls to be popping out you know once they reach their destination <clears throat> so i'm just adding a line of glue with my glue gun and putting a little bit of the adhesive pearls um once this is done the base of the shoe is ready i need to just add the pearls to the top so here you can see I've added the purse to the top and the shoe is 100% ready. It's looking so pretty, so sweet, so adorable. Now I'm going to fill this shoe with some homemade chocolates. And the great thing about Itsy Bitsy is you have everything you need for chocolate making as well in the store. <clears throat> like they've got these packets of chocolate wrappers. They're perfectly cut to size. They come in a variety of colors. And you get these separate packs of twists to keep the uh, wrapped up chocolates um, wrapped up. So here are the chocolates I made. Mind you, the chocolates themselves have been made using molds from Itsy Bitsy. So literally everything I needed for this entire party favor project was from Itsy Bitsy. So here, as you see, I've wrapped up the chocolate and to keep the wrapping in place, I'm using these wire twists. Um, they come in different colors. Since my, since my party favor is pink and blue, I bought pink and blue wrappings and pink and blue twists and um, I'm twisting and wrapping each chocolate. Now I've twisted them all. I'm going to trim the tops because I don't want them to be so top heavy. Um, and as I trim them, once I trim the top, I'm just spreading open the, um, the remaining bit of the top. Here I went for the third one, scrunching it open. It looks really pretty that way. And um, ready, I'm ready to do the same for the fourth one. So I've got now four chocolates, two pink, two blue, perfectly coinciding with the theme of my party. 
I'm going to take a little bit of net. It's from my stash. It's not cut very neatly, but it doesn't matter because it's just meant to be a fluff of a fluff of fun to pop up out of the shoe, almost like socks are popping out of the shoe. This is how it's going to be presented when it's ready. Doesn't that look like the sweetest thing? <laughs> Here's a look at the shoe when it was um, all ready. I added a little rose in the center just to be um, just a little prettier. Um, here's a look at the shoe with, um, with the chocolates that I just wrapped up, um, perfectly matching my theme. So that wraps up this tutorial. I really hope you found it useful. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it inspires you to create your own projects. Do visit our blog for more details. See you later. Bye.